Hello guys, how is it going? This is Peter here. Not sure many of you do the same, but I tend to read discussion pages on wiki. This is like a comment section with many different topics and one can run into good ideas and lately I have found two weird things about Shiro. The first is a comment which states that if you kill Shiro with a group of 8 assassins, he does some kind of a bowing animation, like showing respect towards fellow assassins. So I asked people on my discord, no one had seen it before and we tested it. First we didn't have enough assassins, fill the gaps with heroes and this happened. Yeah, you see it right, absolutely nothing. Ok, we thought this is not going to work with heroes, we waited a bit more, got a full team. And uh, this time no heroes or real players and we gave it a try. Uh, we didn't know when Shiro would boast if watched the intro, but sadly nothing happened. Then we killed him, waited for the end scene and got the same results. One test is not enough, so we tried once more, uh, but he didn't bow either. I think after this experiment we can say that in 2021 he does not bow to players. Maybe this was a fake comment or it has been changed through the years. Anyway, like I said, I found two things. Uh, the other one was more worthy to test. Vicky also said that Shiro might drop elite assassin tomes. Personally, I've never seen him doing that. Uh, there was only one guy in my Facebook group who has seen this happening. Everyone else I asked has not. This is kind of easy to test, right? You kill him a couple of times and it's done. Oh, you think? The problem with elite tomes uh, is their low drop rate. Even on normal bosses it might take 100 or more runs to get a single one. But Shiro is everything but a normal boss and is he a boss at all? Let's see the facts. He does not have a boss aura, there is no glowing thingy around him. Killing him does not give morale boost either, does not recharge skills. He gives 420 XP at level 33 which is exactly so much as a normal fool should give, uh, bosses give 50% more XP anyway. Ok, but what if the developers forgot to add Shiro all these and he is still a boss? Well, there was only one way to find the truth, monotonous never ending grind, yes, farming Shiro till we collapse. Luckily elementalists can solo Shiro very quickly, the quickest of all actually, it takes less than 90 seconds, but there is another problem. For the build to work they need a warrior henchman and Shiro banishes the henchman immediately, spawns a shiroken which recharges all skills upon death and gives another set of celestial storms. So there was a good chance that the henchy would leech drops and make this even more difficult. I was motivated though uh, and started the grind killed him over and over again. The runs went quickly and grinding stuff like this was never too hard for me. I think I did my first 200 runs on the first day, but sadly nothing promising dropped, not even scrolls which are typical drops from bosses. Never mind, I continued soloing him for the next few days, uh, but with less intensity and thought I would stop at 300, that's a nice number, you know the movie and all, uh, but luckily I didn't. 323, this is how many times I have killed Shiro to make this with. On the last run this happened. Yeah, he dropped me a normal assassin tome. Actually this was not what I wanted, but was very convincing because only bosses may drop elite tomes and only of the corresponding profession, regular tomes come from the normal enemies. So I think this is enough evidence to say that Shiro is not a boss, he's a normal fool, but at least an assassin indeed. And finally let's take a look at the drop list. Majority of the runs resulted in no drops, more than 60%. At second place gold coins are with almost 25%, then random white, blue and purple items are at 12% and the regular tomes less than 1%. Anyway, if we assume 2 minutes each run with map levels and load screens, the time I put into this farm is close to 11 hours. So guys, 2 minutes busted, give a like for each time Shiro suffered a painful death and see you next time.